Hello, what's up everyone? Thunderbob here, and uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, I was contacted by a company who asked if I might be interested in testing out a new microphone. I've been actually in the market for a new microphone for a while, and the product they showed me looked pretty interesting, so I thought, sure, why not? Um, so this is a product that was sent to me. Uh, I'm going to try to be fair with it. This is a Weed Hollow, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. This is a plug and play USB microphone with stand. It's got a rugged adjustable arm mic, shock mounts, USB cable, and a custom condenser capsule offers crystal clear audio. So I'm gonna unbox this, I'm gonna set it all up, and we're gonna test out the audio quality. Might play it with it for a couple of days and uh, kind of give my thoughts on it. So let's get started. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy. And it came with a little bit of tear from delivery. Uh, I don't think it's actually been opened. It was just in transit. It damaged a little bit. No big deal. Would help if I use the right size of the uh, side of the, the uh, razor blade. And this product, it is $40. I'll have a link down below. And reading what comes with it for $40, I'm pretty impressed. Um, assuming that the micro microphone is in, uh, you know, decent quality. We're gonna find that out soon, but right off the bat, the presentation and, and you know, it, it looks pretty good. Uh, you got a little instruction manual here. It's a U100 condenser microphone, all the how-to. You got yourself a. Uh, I can open it. A little filter to put in front of your microphone, kind of windscreen. You've got a pop filter, it goes right over the microphone. Sometimes I use these, sometimes I don't. Kind of mixed on them. Standard USB. You got the arm here, and for forty dollars, this is a pretty good, pretty good bundle, I would say. Like I've seen cheap microphones for forty dollars without any of the other gear. You got a decent-looking shock mount here. Mostly plastic. Arm, mostly uh, metal, and probably the most important part is the microphone. It's got some heft to it. Feels kind of nice. Let's see if you can see that. It does have a little control here, volume knob, and a mute button. Feel a little small. It'd be nicer to have those a little bit a little bit larger but uh, yeah actually it feels pretty pretty solid it's almost all metal little knob is plastic of course but this is metal got your little metal um, grill here put pop filter over top of it yeah so I guess next up I'm gonna put the arm together and uh, we'll see um, how the quality is, because that's kind of the most important thing. It's uh, to mount it to your desk. Oh, and you get a little, uh, nice, if you don't want to mount it. You've got a little tripod for your desk. Nice to have both. That is everything. 
So I'm going to put this bad boy together and then show it on my desk and then we'll do some tests with it. So we've got it all set up here. Um, got the pop filter, got the fabric filter on top of it, got it mounted to my desk here just to kind of show you. Might adjust it a little bit, but I think that's decent. I've got it set up where I can swivel it, and if I want to use it while I'm on my arcade, I can do that as well. So, kind of double functionality there, but I'll probably keep it, you know, around there while I'm on my computer. Okay, so here I am with the new microphone. I've been using this for a few days now and I've done some recording for videos and use it as my main microphone while playing games. Uh, overall, I've got to say I'm quite impressed with the quality of the sound. This entire section of the video has been recorded using this new microphone. Uh, this is raw audio without processing. For context, uh, I used a rather expensive microphone for a long time, but it broke kind of early on in the pandemic when uh, all the hardware was going crazy in prices and being unavailable. So I ended up having to buy a new microphone. I bought a pretty cheap like toner mic and that's what I've been using along with some uh, post-processing noise gates, noise filtering to make it sound better. Um, but what I've got to say is the raw audio from this microphone I'd say is comparable to the processed audio from my old cheap microphone. So overall I'm really impressed with the quality of the sound. Uh, I've got the specs up on the screen now. Pretty standard for this price range, uh, 48 kilohertz, um, pretty standard for a streaming mic. It's a condenser type with a cardioid pattern. Means primarily that you get audio from the front of the microphone, not as much from the, the rear and the sides. Um, there's a little card that comes with the microphone that uh, shows you kind of like the pattern of the audio. Now, they do recommend that you place this microphone approximately six inches in front of you, which this is about perfectly placed. That's right off screen, so sorry about that. Uh, they also recommend that you lower the gain on the microphone to about 50 to 70%. This is to avoid background noise and clipping. Most microphones will recommend that you lower the gain and then increase the volume uh, to get better sound out of it. So there is some amount of kind of setup to get these perfect. That's most any microphone you need to kind of uh, adjust that's pretty normal you also want to keep background noise to a minimum fans you know computer whirring um, air conditioning blowing right on it all that stuff will impact your audio quality i've got a pretty quiet room here other than occasionally my daughter running through screaming so uh, this is as quiet as i can make it overall i'm quite impressed with the quality of this product um, the sound is very good especially when you take into consideration it's a 40 dollar microphone and with the rest of the kit it comes with, you know, you get um, the boom arm, you get the tripod stand, the pop filter, um, you get a, a ton of gear with this. And for $40, you know, most of the time I see that for $50 or $60 and the quality on those microphones, you know, is questionable. So I think this combination is quite good. Um, I'll continue to test this over the next few weeks and probably do a follow up video. But kind of my main takeaway is um, if you're a new streamer, if you're new to this, you know, Twitch or YouTube for the first time, this is a great starting point. You don't want to drop $200 right away for something that you're not sure you're going to stick to. Um, I would highly recommend uh, checking this out if you're starting out. And uh, if um, you end up uh, enjoying it, you know, maybe go higher end down the road. So again, uh, really enjoying the microphone think it's good quality if you're interested there'll be a link in the description down below and uh, feel free to click on that link if you want if you like this video why don't you check out some of my other content i've got stuff related to virtual reality stuff related to retro gaming new games uh, hardware all kinds of stuff I, i'm very eclectic and cover a lot of ground uh, if you like any of it think about subscribing i would definitely appreciate it thanks again and have a great night everyone